If you are looking for the best camping coffee maker on the market, then my friends, you are in the right place. Today we are reviewing the Brewit Stick. How cool does this thing look? And we are going to find out if this is going to become your perfect coffee match. Hey, thanks for joining me. My name's Jane Sarchet. I write recipes for a living. This is Myrtle, my gorgeous camper van, and it's together in this tiny kitchen that we bring you guys awesome one pot camping recipes and camping coffee maker reviews. If that sounds like your cuppa, then feel free to subscribe to the channel, ding that little bell, and join us on our tasty adventures. Okay, straight out of the box. What have we got? The Brewit stick. I freaking love the look of this thing. Every single person that has seen this in real life has laughed and said, it looks like a toilet brush. <laughs> now, I can't dispute that because it really does, but it's gorgeous. It's so simple. It's so minimalist. If this works, I, I know that I would be using this in my van because of the colour, it's my colour. There are other colours available too, but this is my colour. I freaking love teal. And I've already decided that if I do end up getting rid of the AeroPress from Myrtle and having this in here, I'm going to have Johnny make me a little shelf in here that holds two of these so we can have one each. He can have a different colour because this is mine. And we're just going to have a little toilet brush shelf for our coffee makers. It's adorable, but obviously let's not get too carried away because it might be rubbish. But I don't think it's going to be. It's by a company called Barista & Co. I mean, that gives you some hope, doesn't it? And it's so simple to use. So you've got this little base unit, which is just a holder for the actual coffee maker. And it's where you store the little basket stick when you've made your brew and then you can clean up at your leisure, I guess. I love the fact that there's no mess happening in the van. This is a good step. And then you open, you unscrew this little basket bit that comes apart from the stick. And then you obviously you put your coffee grounds in there. We've got this little instruction card that comes with it in four languages. We've got English here. Fill, brew, go. <sighs> love it. Very simple. The brew it stick is a revolutionary way to make great tasting coffee with minimal time and effort. It works just like a tea infuser. All you need to do is put your ground coffee inside, slowly pour water through the top filter and then immerse the brew it stick in the water until it's brewed to perfection. Easy to clean and convenient to carry around. The ideal choice for newcomers to coffee brewing or those with limited time on their hands. Now I am officially the most impatient person on this planet so that sounds good to me. Instructions. Fill infuser basket with coarsely ground coffee and secure handle and it's telling me 15 grams of coffee. I think I read somewhere that you've... Oh and on the box it says fill basket two-thirds full with coarsely ground coffee. So I don't have scales so I am going to go with the two-thirds full option. That's easy to fill not having any spillage problems there and then just put the lid back on and tighten it on and that's not going anywhere that's pretty decent it feels a little bit flimsy i don't think this is going to last as long as an aeropress okay next step so hold infuser inside empty cup so slowly pour boiling water through the 160 degree handle filter and as you'll see at the top the filter lid has holes through as well it's still got the mesh on, so the coffee isn't gonna escape, but that's where you need to be pouring the hot water through those holes. Now, as always in these coffee reviews, I am using the exact same beans for continuity because I know that I love them, I love how they taste, and I will then know if each coffee maker that I'm reviewing is doing them justice. If I use different coffees every week, then honestly, I wouldn't really know what was going on. They're not sponsoring these videos at all, it's just I like to help support local businesses that are doing awesome things. Okay, kettle boiled, let's move this camera down so you can see what's going on okay so my brew it stick is in my kettle is done now it said pour slowly through the top mesh this is a rubbish kettle but I love my kettle so it's just gonna have to do the job the nice thing about this is you can see exactly how much water is going into your cup so you put in as much as you like to drink I also like that it's made in the cup that you're drinking out of that creates less washing up which is always a bonus and then you push the brew it stick under the liquid and you twist for five seconds I guess that's pushing out any air, so letting the water in to touch the coffee. And then you let it infuse for four minutes. So, I shall see you in four, people. I wouldn't think four minutes was such a long time till you're sat waiting for a coffee to brew. 
Some of you have been asking which coffee grinder I use. Now I have two. I do have an electric blade grinder at home, which is what I do if I'm in a hurry or if I'm feeling particularly lazy. But apparently burr grinders are a far better investment. You get a much more even grind of your coffee beans than if you use um, a one with like two blades in it that just whizzes around and just chops whatever it hits. So I use this one for doing the reviews and if I'm feeling proper, like proper fancy pants. It's a Henry Charles um, hand burr grinder, so no electrics, it's perfect for the van. And also, very handily, it slots inside the handle of an AeroPress, which is really nice. That bit comes off so you can easily store it. Uh, not very expensive, can't remember off the top of my head how much it was, but I will leave a link to it in the description box below. Interesting to note that when you pull it out of the AeroPress, the base is now stuck inside there. So all you have to do is oik your fingers in and pull that out. So it's not that big a deal. That is now four minutes. So we pull our basket out and then we place it inside there, which is great. Like no mess, nothing. And then I can clean this out as and when I choose to. Very simple, I like that. But as always, the proof is in the pudding. It's not burned, smells gorgeous. Blimey. That is a very smooth cup of coffee. I don't know why that's, I don't know why that's smoother than I'm used to. I'm thinking it's a little bit weak, but it doesn't feel weak. All right, I'm out of here. I'm gonna go and spend the week with this little beauty and then I'm gonna pop back and record the second half of this video in seven days time. And I'm gonna tell you everything I've learnt about it, what I like about it, what I don't like about it, and I'm gonna rate it out of 100. So I will see you in just a mo. So we're back. Now, this has been a very confusing three weeks. Yes, I have actually gone above and beyond with this review because I was just really confused by this whole thing. So I'm not an expert, you may have worked out already, when it comes to coffee. Um, I'm still learning. Um, I know what I like the taste of and I know what I don't like the taste of, but I don't have the words, or the vocabulary or the training to say why something is good or why something is bad. It's just based on my taste buds. So please do bear that in mind in all these reviews that I ain't got a clue what I'm talking about. Now with this thing, I was really confused because the coffee that it made looked perfect. It was dark, thick, black. It looked excellently brewed. When it was in your mouth, I'm going to use a terminology now that I don't really know what it means, but I'm going to say that it had good mouth feel. You know when you have a weak coffee and you hold it in your mouth and it just feels thin and empty and watery? Is this all making sense? This doesn't. The coffee from this feels right. It feels good. Then you drink it or you swallow it and there's nothing. It's the strangest thing. It's like, it's almost like this thing takes the flavour out of coffee. So, like I said, I've actually been using this on and off for three weeks. I haven't used this every day for three weeks because I didn't actually enjoy the coffee that came out of it. I love how it looks. I, As I've told you, I already know where it's going to live in my camper van because this was the one. This was going to replace the AeroPress. I can tell you up front that it's not. I still love how it looks. I still think it's amusing that it looks like a toilet brush. But the taste of the coffee just it wasn't there it wasn't right so i had a call with a lady from owens so you know i go on about owens coffee from ivy bridge in devon how much i love it so the lady that owns it is called lorraine hi lorraine she watches these videos as well so cute um so i had a call with lorraine because i was really confused how can this coffee look right how can this coffee feel right but how can this coffee not taste right it didn't make any sense so we banded around some ideas and she wonders if the fact that this nylon-y gauze stuff here is so fine, which is good because it keeps the grounds out of your cup, but she wonders if that holds on to the oils in the coffee. And it might be the oils are where the flavour is at. I, I don't know. And as you know, I wanted to love this thing. And I think there still might be a place for this. If you're new to drinking coffee, perhaps you been drinking instant coffee but you don't want to you know you want to man up and and drink some real old coffee but you're kind of intimidated by how strong it's going to be then i think this might be a good option for you because it takes 
any bitterness away. There wasn't any bitterness, but it also takes any of the highs away. So you're left with this quite flat cup of coffee. It's really weird. If anyone else has tried one of these, please let us know in the comments below. Have you found the same? And if you have, what's, what's your theory? Why do you think it tastes flat? And if it doesn't taste flat, like what are we doing wrong? And Barista and Co, if you're watching this, then what are we doing wrong? <laughs> now over on Amazon, this gets a 3.9 out of five. Now a couple of people I think have mentioned the lack of flavor, like where'd you put my flavor to? But the most people that marked it down, marked it down from the build quality. Now it does feel pretty flimsy. I don't know that this is gonna last very long. These bars here made of plastic, um this it's also got this fine mesh stuff is somehow like seamed onto joined onto these plastic things so you know i'm not sure that's going to last terribly long but the biggest problem is as you screw it open is that this action here often breaks apparently these bits here can break off which means they don't lock into place um so yeah quite a few people have had problems with with this unit actually being closable. Also the handle feels a bit naff. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I don't think it's gonna, if you use that a few times a day, I don't think that's gonna last you a very long time. My main concern was that the handle would snap, but I, I think this weak point here is more of a concern than the handle, if I'm honest. So really that's all I've got to say on that one. I, I tried really hard, as you know, I love, how it looks I, I want to love it as a coffee maker but i just don't so uh, let's give it some scores and i'm very sorry <clears throat> barista and co because i don't think you're gonna like them very much uh ease of use is an eight out of ten because it's really easy ease of cleanup is also an eight out of ten the water has all drained out of there it's really easy just to tap that into a compost bin you do need water to then give it a little rinse out afterwards quality of brew I gave it a two. I feel like this thing raped and pillaged from my coffee beans and I'm kind of a little bit miffed about that. I don't know what you did with my flavor. <coughs> uh, value for money, it's 12 pound on Amazon delivered. I um, mean, for a coffee maker, that's not a lot of money. I would be happy, obviously, to spend 12 pound on something and for it to produce me a good cup of coffee. This doesn't, so I did mark it down to six. Style, I gave it a 10 out of 10, even though it's a toilet brush at the end of the day. I love it, I, I love this color. I don't know if you can see. Yes, you can, you see my little wall over there is exactly the same color, it's beautiful. It does come in other colors, have I said that already? Black, white, maybe red, pink, maybe, I don't know. Design got a six out of 10, even though it's, I like the fact that Barista & Co company have stepped outside the box and tried something new, I think, before speaking to the lady from Owens, I wondered if the reason that the coffee had not enough flavour was that this is very narrow and there's not really much space for them to swoosh around in there. I was wondering if that was the problem, that they're, that they're just too tightly compacted in there. Durability, I gave this a three for those reasons I've already said um, that people have had problems with it on Amazon. It's not going to last long, is it? It's thin plastic and it's nylon mesh. Waste. It's really tricky, the whole waste one, because once you've bought this, in theory, you don't need anything else. No pods, no batteries, no filters, no papers, no nothing. But equally, if this breaks in three months, then that's really wasteful because that's just going to go straight to landfill. So I gave it an eight. So yeah, tricky one to score. Weight and storage, I've given it a nine. It doesn't weigh very much, 63, 62 grams. So it's really lightweight. If you're really trying to keep your weight down, you don't even need that bit. That, to be honest, is just a little pretty bit that catches the drips. That's where the money's at. And that would be really easy to store in like a cutlery drawer, in a camper van or in a backpack, like perhaps in a Ziploc bag with your coffee. It wouldn't be hard to store and travel with that. For the wow factor, I gave it a 10. I only wrote these scores about an hour ago. <laughs> I don't quite know what I was thinking. That all adds up to 70 out of 100 which is far too high a score. I don't know what I was thinking. If you're spending money on a coffee maker, the most important thing is that you enjoy the cup of coffee at the end of it. And I didn't enjoy the coffee from this. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, Barista & Co. I think it's beautiful, but I didn't enjoy it. Sorry.
that is it for today's video please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're watching this over on youtube and if you're watching this on the blog then hey how's it going don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter grab your free ebook that is waiting with your name on it it's full of easy camping recipes using instant noodles but no you've been the nasty little flavor sachet where all the crappy stuff is it's just using the dried noodles and some other real food ingredients to make your camping expeditions that little bit easier and tastier until next week, beautiful people, have a fabulous time, a superb weekend, whatever you're up to, and I'll see you very soon.